hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is jimmy chris if this is your first time here on my channel then you need to watch my intro video in my previous um post so you can go check it out so you can get to know a little bit about me and my channel so you get you know you'll be familiar a little bit well as you all know like i said in my previous video if you watched it this channel is going to be my space where i share with you guys um, my ghana travels as i go to regions i have not been to in ghana and also share with you um, some of my food blog posts so yes in this video we are going to talk travel i took the time to visit akosombo a couple of weeks ago and i totally loved it there it's like a mini getaway it's so serene um so clean the roads uh, less pot if I should say no potholes such a smooth drive um, in Akosombo I totally loved my stay there it's like a small city in the eastern part of Ghana and I mean it's so it's so it's so amazing out there if you've not been to Akosombo I think you should definitely take the time to go if you want to get away from all the Accra noise it is definitely one spot I will recommend you should go to for your peace of mind and for some you know some little getaway in Ghana in this video I'm going to share five things you can do in Akosombo there is not much to do there but there is a few things that you can actually do or experience to make your stay a little bit more exciting and fun so yes I can really share all about the journey I was going to share all about the journey but it will be a long video so I'm going to share five things and then in my next video I'll share with you guys where to eat and where you can lodge at so now let's get into to five things you can do in Akosombo. Now, the first thing you should do in Akosombo is visit the Dodi World, where the Dodi Princess cruise boat is at. Um, it's not free, honey. So yes, um, it's two fifty for adults and one fifty for kids. You should know that also at the Dodi World, they also have a boat where you can actually just um, go. Um, sit on for some boat um, ride but this one is a cruise boat that has a restaurant in it has a pub in it you know a, it has a few things it's like a big boat as you can see on the screen so yes that is the Dodi princess uh, cruise boat so you go on it it's two hours to go and two hours to come back so there is an island at the end of the Volta Lake so that is where they take you to when we got there we couldn't get on it because the, 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 they, they've already come back from their last cruise and we're supposed to leave the next day so we couldn't go on it but I really do know that it's going to be an exciting experience so yes that is one thing you can do as a, at a custom booth. so get your 250 if you are adults or 150 for your kids and go experience it now the second thing you can do in a custom booth is go visit the custom booth dam as you all know I can't remember when we were in school we went on a couple of excursions to a custom booth, but I did not rem I don't remember anything at all until I went there um, on this visit so yes that's the second thing you can do in a custom booth. I think that is something everybody should experience go check the dam out see how the water rolls in in there i was going to get a video but they don't allow videos or photos any kind of photography at that side where the water runs so couldn't get any photos or video as of what goes on there but i think it's something everybody should know and the stories behind it the education the information behind it is something everybody should experience so yes that is another thing you can do in a custom room but you have to go to the vra and go pay then they'll give you a tour guide it is five cities for locals and uh, 15 cities for foreigners so yes the third thing you can do in Akosombo is go fishing. I was so eager to go fishing in Akosombo. Unfortunately, when we got there, where we are supposed to go use the boats, there were no live jackets and I cannot swim to save my life. I mean, I can swim in pools from, you know, short length, but I can't swim to save my life. So we didn't, we didn't, we didn't think it was too safe to go um, into the, go onto the lake without um uh, what did I say? I've forgotten the word. A live jacket, right? Without a live jacket. So yes, go fishing in Akosombo. If if you cannot, or if you can, if you can get to a boat that has um, a live jacket, there are fishermen there. If you think you can, you're okay and you can swim, then you can go get. Um, go to where the fishermen are. They will take you on their boat to the lake, so you can go fishing. Now that is the third. The fourth thing you should definitely do in Akosombo is take time to drive through the town. It is so good out there. 
there is a, a street leading to every community so you should take time to drive through the roads are all tired so don't worry about potholes and you know on smooth driving it's so smooth driving through all the streets they have names for all of the it's like quarters yes it's like a quarters and they have names from ghana to nigeria to Congo, yes, the, 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 their quarters are named with um, West African country. When we're driving through, I was loving the place. It's so serene, so cool. There are so many spots you can stop at and take a few shots and do a few videos. It's so cool in Akutsumba. I didn't even want to come back to Accra. When I was coming back and I got to my first spot that says Accra, or the first spot in Accra, which is Dodoa, the noise alone, I was like, ah, oh, we are back to Accra. But in Akosombo, it is so cool there. So that's the fourth thing you can do in Akosombo. Take time to drive through all the streets leading to all the quarters. It is so nice when you, you do that. But my fifth thing that I think you can do in Akosombo, not really in Akosombo, but on your... And let me chip this in. You know, if you've not been to... If, or you've not, you've not seen the Adomi Bridge live and colored before on your way to Akosombo before you after a Timpoku you can actually see that on bridge there it's right there so you can decide to drive through there and go stand on it and check the water lake out and take some pictures but if you've not seen it before you can actually drive there before you head right back to Akosombo but after the Adomi bridge Royal Sinchi is right there so do go to Royal Saint. Yeah, it's open. You can actually drive there and go check the place out. We actually wanted to go as of their rates and see how the place is like. So do take time to drive there. And the pool is facing um, the Volta Lake. So you can be swimming and doing all the pool things and looking right over to the Volta Lake. So yes, their pool rate is 70 cities. You can drive there and go swim and dive in and take all the cool pictures so before you get to Akosombo you can drive to Royal Saint Chi go check the place out and take some epic shots I mean if you can't get the time to go sleep there you can actually do get some fine shots from there so yes that is one thing you can do when you are going to Akosombo before you enter Akosombo so yes these are the five things I think you can do in Akosombo to make your stay there more exciting and more fun so you should go experience these things in my next video I will share where you can lodge and where you can eat at Akosombo so yes I hope these five things of what to do in Akosombo is going to help you if you are going there or if you plan on going there which I totally extremely highly recommend especially if you want some weekend get away from the all the Accra noise so yes thank you so much for making time to watch this video you know what will happen in my next video right so if you've not subscribed yet you should and hit on the, um, the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos and don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and leave me a nice comment in the comments box my name is jimmy chris you can find me on social media on facebook and instagram at jimmy chris rice thank you so much for making time to watch see you in my next video